that's what they're saying. <laughs> My teeth are all one tooth. <laughs> I'd also like to point out, why, why do the guys have the sexy fuck me eyes? We're not fucking them. Who would want to fuck them with their faces like that? Nice. The... Look at the shadowy cross hatching around the eyes. That's how you know guy on the left is older. Because he has more... Cross hatches? Insect shit lines. <laughs> insect shit lines. Darting yeah. around his face. He let the ants just go on his face and shit all over him. He, he fell asleep outside and when he woke up he, his eyes had a bunch of shit on them. Also, how is that guy's face on the right actually working? If you look at his face, you can tell the fact that his mouth just somewhat kind of protrudes outward. Kind of like Alien. His mouth reminds me of the Colossus Titan. <laughs> From those you don't know, that's Attack on like, Titan, and yes, the, you must watch it. All the exposed teeth and the lips, and like, no. like he makes me think of a Titan there with that fucked up mouth. Yes, he completely does. I also like to point out, Rob Life doesn't know how to draw noses. Noses aren't just some triangle plant on a face; they actually have. Maybe yes, we've been looking definition. at too much anime, but I at least like that his noses are actual noses. That's they're true. at least big, but I think that's probably just me watching too much anime and you commenting on it how much there's tiny noses. That that's true, Alex. But when out of look... American art, normal sized noses aren't really that impressive or anything. But when we look at your nose, Alex, you can actually tell that it has something there besides bone. Oh wow, yeah, that's that's a hard edge of a nose. Yeah, he could cut. He probably opens his letters and his envelopes whenever he gets his mail. He opens them with his nose. All right. On the subject of bones, these cheekbones. I know. <laughs> these cheekbones I mean just there's a couple ways you could spin it and they'd all be wrong in their own unique and funny way cause these cheekbones are these men starved? no they can't be starved but look at the cheekbones are they supposed to be model Adonis Huxley cheekbones just poorly implemented? I really don't know Alex honestly when I first saw this page I thought it was going to be a beach ball scene where they're all just playing volleyball together However, if you see up top, you can see it's actually somewhat even of a battle scene. Who knew? Again, on the cheeks, I'm thinking, maybe the problem is less the cheekbones or more the accompanied cheek. <laughs> they have strong cheekbones, but then they have, like, gaunt, shallow, we've been prisoners of war for a couple of months, cheeks that are sucking into their mouths. Also, as you can now tell, a blonde guy dyes his hair. Look at those fucking eyebrows. They're just black lines of ant shit. No, no, you can see a little bit of yellow creeping through the eye. A little, yeah, bit, of a little yellow. bit of yellow. Well, let's not even get started on other guy having uh, blue hair, blue hair, blue eyebrows, blue eyes, blue goatee. Let's just comment on the fact that uh, I think he looks blue, which is why he's obviously staring at a guy really. over here, because then he has blue on him, and thus they must also be friends. Hey, I like that blue shirt you're wearing. It's the exact same color as all my hair. Like, he just moved the pen over an inch. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad you figured it out. So you know what I can't figure out? A uh, panel on the left with blue hair guy. If you look at the bottom right, there's a little blue sash, a bit of blue color there to his shirt. Yeah. But what, is that supposed to be there? Because I bring it up because it almost looks like a mistake. A little As bit. if he was painting the other guy's shirt and accidentally fucked up and moved his hand too far. He's like, ah, fuck, I know. It's just Because the guy's shirt suddenly goes from brown to having a bit of blue in the corner for no reason. I'd also like to point out that these guys have the, again, tender-like anime sort of hair. Look at that. It just defies gravity by just flowing up against the face. His bangs are all just coming off of the rim <laughs> at the top of his forehead. Yeah. Also, he has the goggles on. Except if you look, what... Those aren't, like, actual goggles. Those are, like, huge metal plates that wouldn't remotely make proper contact with your skin. I don't know sure what they are. They could be sunglasses. They could be just a part of the hair that you decided not to put on Just today. look at how huge and thick they are. Like, there's no way those would be sticking to your face like goggles need to. Uh, they just completely do not understand whatsoever. Also, I'd like to point out, how old are these guys? That's how fucking old are these guys. I don't even know how old these guys are. I mean, you look at Gaunt McGee over here, and you see that his cheekbones are kind of just protruding out past the rest of his face. And then his eyes kind of look like, I haven't slept in nights. And then Cookie Monster has the appearance of wrinkles. Yeah. He has maybe wrinkles. Maybe wrinkles. He has, I don't know how to add definition to a character's face, uh, lines wrinkles. <laughs> and his uh, goatee is just kind of spurting out from the rest of his chin. I'll say, maybe I'm a little biased, but uh, I kind of like the goatee. 
You kind of like the goatee. Uh, it, it's got plumage. And it's got a. Pl- it's like, it's, it's like, got thickness. It kind of looks like a little bit of a peacock plumage right there, just kind of going like. Whoosh. Now, whereas Blondie has the goggles on his head, Cookie Monster here has. What 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 is that on his head? I think a, sh- a sash, a shawl, because he's got his hair poking out in the back, so it's not like a hood. <laughs> Just what the I fuck? Think, he has like a leather loop. I think he's trying to cosplay, Alex. That would describe his hair color. This is his well. costume. This is his costume. He's getting ready for the party, but then he sees somebody else who was going to dress up as that guy, and then he's like, oh, "I have to kill you. I have to kill you now." I can only be. The, I can be the only Spanish nun at the party. There can be no other Spanish nun. How dare you even take that idea? I want to say this little establishing frame at the top. That is the most extreme camera angle possible because i don't know how it's possible. let's take a scene where a guy startles the other guy and uh 45 degree angle oh shit what year is this it's the 90s motherfucker we're edgy here this is too <laughs> edgy five me this is too edgy five all right i'm very sorry i'd also like to point out one more thing that the fact that the camera angle has this going diagonal which explains that guy's angle but then how is that guy standing it's it's just a lot of a lot Bullshit. of fucked up life field posture going on. I guess, I guess nothing new. I guess not- and here we have another bit from life field's mini comic comedy series. Also, what the fuck? Her head is so goddamn small. Look at her leg. Look at her two legs. They're so off proportion. We have one sort of childlike knee there. And then the real woman leg just coming underneath it. Wow, that one, it's... It's two inches thicker. Uh, well, Jean, you're being real insensitive. She was in a cast for a couple months, and that's why her one leg is so much oh, skinnier. Her muscle definition is completely off. I'd like to also say her bone definition is completely off, if we judge by her tiny little doll-like hands. Can I say that that snowman's hat is just taped on to the front of his forehead? It kind of is. There's no way that's remotely sitting on him. Also, how dingy is this room? Look at all the lines that are coming off of it. Oh, yeah. It hasn't been washed. It's got... Definition lines. Definition lines on the room. Because Why? what would be a painted wall without Definition. texture? It's trying to be a face, but it just can't. Be cool, snowman. Chill out and all your troubles will melt away. Uh-huh. 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 I've read the joke. I got to the punchline. And I've made no noises of humor. I... That that's really it's that, that's the end that's the end of that sentence. I wasn't suppressing it for the comedic value of mocking. No, I just read it and well. Well, fuck. Yep, that's my reaction. Hmm. All right, now to the next one. Yeah. This is from two thousand one. This is what? Really? From two thousand one. Oh dear. I think people could draw better than this twelve years ago. I'm pretty sure, like I could draw better than this twelve years ago. Pretty sure. Also. Look at the definition lines in her hair. Again, it's floating away from the face, but it seems to be again this nice two-dimensional color of yellow and then black. Kind of like a bee. Where is the black coming from? I have no this, idea. This is a brightly well-lit therapist room. All white, didn't you? Her hair is clearly blonde. <laughs> so, where is black hair? She has a collar on. She does, again. Holy shit. Again with the collar. Is he going to fuck her? I guess so. Because she's f- wearing a dog collar. He's gonna fuck her with a with It's like the ice other stick. bitch where it's just, oh yeah, I'm randomly wearing a collar. And painted on clothes. Now, it's not random. Obviously, the collar is sexy because if she has a collar on, that means you have dominion over her and can make her submit to your sexual will. Obviously. But uh, that's not what I go to the therapist for. Yeah, I don't really know what she's going to do there. Also, she's not even looking at her patient. She is looking away from her patient. She's like, oh, I can't, I can't deal with this today. Now, I, I could justify that. You know, you don't want to be staring at the guy. You take a neutral position. The guy seems to be just plainly pissed off. Look at he, his one eyebrow. I'm he is mad. Eyebrow. He is mad. He's one eyebrow surprised. One eyebrow angry. Exactly. With a dick carrot nose. Dick carrot nose protruding away from well, his face. Well, I mean, hell, he has a frowny face. Oh. Look, look at that. He's frowning. He is so upset. I like the little cleft below his mouth to, like, give him a chin. <laughs> he has a snow chin. He has a snow chin, even though I'm pretty sure... I don't know why snowmen would come in here. Look at them. They're fucking melting. Why would you want to be in here? Because he's having problems being cool, dude. Eh. <laughs> yeah. Can I say, a woman's stomach. 
<laughs> not the sides of the stomach. Which, the inside of the stomach, in which we can see everything. The coloring makes it look like she has a carved out gap. Her stomach is concave. This is right. not an exaggeration. She has a bowl. She has a bowl for her stomach. I'm not quite sure how she supports the rest of her if body. If I was but... fucking her, I would see my dick poking along the inside of the skin. Which I guess could be Without a Without even trying to specifically do that. With, it could be a turn on if you ignore the oddly wisp proportioned legs and the fact that the wall seems to be bending away. Look at the painting over there. It's either very, very slanted or the wall is kind of bending the towards The painting us. above the therapist. Yeah, it's... Where's... You take a signal to analyze and you think these lines and shapes don't add up. <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. It's everything. Also, a uh, therapist lady's right hand. <laughs> that's just... It's kind of just like... Burr. It kind of looks like a little bit of a paw. It looks like a flipper. Off it. A flipper. She has a seal flipper for she her has right a hand. Tiny seal like flipper. And her wrist is permanently twisted ninety degrees away from where it should be. It's, it's obviously why she's sitting down. She cannot stand up. She's paraplegic, and this is her the wrist she's is sitting like on. her wrist is popping out of her arm two inches before the end of her arm with the <laughs> flippery hand hanging off it. If you look at the other hand, you can tell the wrist goes on for about a. Four or so inches before we actually get into the arm meat part. And then the forearm, it thins in, and yeah, she's got a tube wrist attachment enhancement. Yeah, they're kinda, it's kind of impressive, actually. I'm surprised she could be able to be alive with all that surgery also, and displacement. her right deltoid, huge. Left deltoid, Meh. nothing. Nothing there. Look at her right shoulder compared to her left shoulder. It's kind of impossible how She's sitting be in there. a fucking chair, so it's not... As if she's carrying something and flexing the arm. No, not even a little bit. Also, also, is she a hunchback? That would kind of been, that would kind of make sense as to why we can see almost to the back of her neck, but we can't. But then, then we can see the rest of her other part of hunchy like. You're right. It, those triceps are. Again, it's it's bad perspective because she's clearly just a normal, regular lady. Extremely sexy therapist. Oh my god, her shirt is cut down to the top of her tits. You can see that. You can t- almost see the nipples in that you know, one little may- light Maybe part. more people would, wouldn't would be so ashamed or resistant about going to a therapist if they had low cut. Yeah. Skin tight. Look at the curve it's making with her tits. That thing yes. is skin tight right up against the boobage there. It is, again, painted on co- clothing. I'm not really sure how she puts it on. I have absolutely no idea how she puts on latex. As we saw them. before with white shirt and school lady, it's also skin tight on her armpit and shoulder. How? There's no space there. It's just going up right into the pit. Lightfield, why not just draw them naked? That's obviously what you wanted to do in the first place, but I'm going to guess because you don't know how to well, draw we saw the rest that of the woman. Earlier you piece. don't know how to draw a vagina. We saw that earlier piece where a lady straight up just had the vaginal lines on her armor. Yeah, she Remember? did. Yes, it was you on her just, armor. And then in the other picture, you could see her pubes as part of her... It was, it was kind of ridiculous. Oh my god. It, does the guy not get fucked enough? I don't think he does, which is kind of sad considering all the money he makes off this. You know what I want to know? What kind of porn does he watch that he draws women who look like this? He doesn't watch enough. 